people who, who have anxiety talk a lot about this pressure, this pressure of life that they feel on top of them. And getting into a tank is an immediate relief of this pressure. And so for, from my perspective, I think what needs to happen is the research needs to be done um, in order to show that this is indeed an effective treatment for a variety of different conditions um, that deal with anxiety as its ultimate root. Hopefully um, in the coming years you're going to see a surge in research in this and that's really what the field could benefit from. In terms of the sorts of things that are barriers, we're going to need to uh, make sure that the tanks are inviting for people who have claustrophobia, for people who like to be in control, this is critical. And so as we see new tanks coming out and being manufactured, people should be very conscientious about creating tanks that are really focused on patients. Um, hopefully with that, you're gonna see a lot more clinical work using these tanks. In fact, I didn't even know about floating when I first got there. Uh, I learned about it earlier this year when an RA in, in, in the lab I'm at uh, told me about this very interesting experience and I had to check it out myself and sure enough, the first time I was hooked. Um, it's a fascinating technology and like I said, so much potential. So, what is a clinical neuropsychologist doing? Um, I'm not studying magnesium, I promise you. <laughs> I've been spending the past 13 years um, investigating consciousness and emotion in the human brain. Uh, 